Amumu is a sad little mummy who likes to take that out on all of his enemies. He has a huge amount of crowd control and a fair amount of damage over time too, whilst being pretty hard to shut down due to his insane tankiness. He does however really struggle in 1v1s when he gets behind and does heavily rely on his teammates to follow up on his engages. So for your runes you'll mainly want to go down the precision tree and opt for conqueror. This is really going to help you out in sustained fights with his damage and healing. Follow that up with Triumph, Legend Tenacity and Last Stand for some extra damage and sustain. After that you'll want to go down the Domination Tree with Cheap Shot and Ravenous Hunter for the extra damage and healing. For your skill order you want to start with W and then E then Q for your jungle clear but after that you want to max E then Q then W. So when it comes to your mythic items Sunfire Aegis is really the only main choice for Amumu. It grants him damage, tankiness and works incredibly well with the rest of Amumu's kit increasing his overall damage over time. For some armor options, you can go for a Thorn Mail, which is an excellent choice on Amumu, giving him armor, anti-heal, and also more damage. Randomer's Omen is a perfect item to engage with against heavy AD comps. It slows and reduces damage of physical threats, making you even more impactful when you initiate. Frozen Heart is also a smart choice against champions that thrive off their attack speed. It also helps you out with a ton more armor and mana. For your magic resist options, you can go for a force of nature. This is going to just increase your magic resist by a crazy amount, whilst also helping you out with some movement speed. Spirit Visage will give you a sizable amount of magic resist and also help you out with some extra sustain. You can also get yourself an Abyssal Mask, as it's just great because alongside its magic resist, it actually gives you more damage when you immobilize a target, which Amumu absolutely excels at. Now to finish off with a few damage options, Demonic Embrace is a great choice if you want to get some more bang for your buck when it comes to damage. Zonya's Hourglass can also help you out when you engage with the immunity, alongside giving you extra burst damage. So in easier matchups in the jungle, you want to basically power farm for level 6, whilst also ganking whenever you see an opportunity. Amumu's Q is incredibly strong in early ganks, especially now that it's got two charges, so don't be afraid to fight as long as you have this ability up. Against harder lanes, you'll want to avoid dueling the enemy jungler and getting caught out whilst farming. Ward your jungle entrances and use Scry's Bloom and Deep Wards to try and track enemy jungler's movements. Amumu is an exceptional counter ganker, so plan ahead and make sure to be involved when an opportunity arises to ruin those enemies' plans. Amumu works really well with any champions with high AoE damage and follow up to his incredible initiation. Any picks that have abilities and designs to really thrive on Amumu's engage are the perfect fit. In the early game you'll want to look to clear your jungle whilst also ganking whenever you see an opportunity. As long as you have your Q up you should be pretty effective in early ganks. Try to prioritise ganking lanes without too much mobility or punish lanes who are playing over aggressively looking to get kills. Amumu's crowd control should be respected. Once you're level 6 make sure to abuse your ultimate on cooldown. It's an insane ganking tool and should be abused as much as possible. Make sure to try and prioritise early objectives as Amumu is an exceptionally powerful in any teamfights. This can be a great way to get a lead for your team early game. For your jungle pathing, the most common path to take at the moment for Amumu on blue side, start red buff then Krugs first if you wanted to full clear or if not skip those and head to raptors, then do wolves and then blue and grump to finish. After that you can look to contest gutter crab. On red side start blue then gromp then wolves and raptors, red buff and then Krugs or scutter crab for level 4. In team fights your main job is to engage and set up that huge 5 man ultimate. Try to make sure you're near enough to your teammates so they can follow you up as you may just get blown up afterwards if you're on your own. Mumu can easily make picks with his Q and ultimate to look to create vision traps and set up easy kills. It's always important to stick near your teammates as you'll probably need them for your damage as you aren't the strongest jeweler unless you're really really far ahead. Amumu is designed to teamfight, so make sure you're always playing around objectives and focusing on landing that big wombo combo. Finally, let's go over a few tips to finish off. You can actually cast your ultimate just after your Q hits to ensure it casts as soon as you land. This is a great way to lock up your opponents without any chance of them escaping. You can ult flash to instantly jump onto your opponents and lock them down. This can be combined with your Q for even more surprise factor. Your enemies will often hide behind minions to avoid your Q. Look to catch them off guard with a cheeky smite first. Smite the minion, Q your enemy, GG, well played. Thanks for checking out this short guide on Amumu. Enjoy playing him on the Rift. Take care.